Hello everyone, so today I have a ginormous haul for you guys. For I'd say this stuff has been accumulated for the past month, like I would say, because I just got everything that I ordered online like last week or two weeks ago. Probably like two weeks ago. So I think everything that I've accumulated is from the past two months. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because it's gonna be a very, very long haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with makeup. I this this ranges from like things that I've bought online, what I've bought in store, and um, my boyfriend got me some stuff for Valentine's Day. Um, the first thing I'm going to start off with is from Lush, and it's the Brazen Tunny Fresh Face Mask. And oh my gosh, this is a deep cleansing, exfoliating, um, brightening mask. It has a very very potent like honey almond smell. So if you don't like honey or lemony, it's kind of lemony too. Um, I remember putting this on and my mom was like, what's that smell? Like it was even after I took it off, like the smell lingered in the room. But yeah, I absolutely love this mask. I've already used it twice. It has to be refrigerated, but it feels so refreshing because it's so cold when it's applied on your face. And it's just like, it just feels great. It feels great on your skin. So that's what I got. I can't remember if I included this in a haul, but I got the Lime Crime Velveteen in Cashmere. And it's just a really pretty grayish um, nude color. I went ahead and swatched that for you guys. And they all smell so good. I can't remember if I included this in a previous haul. I don't remember when I got this actually. I know I got it in January towards the end, but a lot of this stuff is things that I've gotten in the past month. So in a month, that's probably like mid-January from now. It's really like in the mid-February, whatever, anyway. So yeah, that's the color, cashmere. The next three things are from Walgreens. Um, I remember hearing about this brand in Puerto Rico. Uh, my mom used, used to use their nail polishes a lot. And I'm so excited that I saw these in my local Walgreens. And um, they, I usually just buy their nail polish, but I saw that they had lipsticks. And they're, it's from the brand Bettina, or Bettina. It's intact color lipstick. It's long lasting, vitamin E waterproof. And it's matte, and it's in the shade Eternal. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And oh my gosh, this is like, I've been looking for a brown lipstick that's not like Salem because everybody has Salem and it's like super hard to order from Lime Crime and I think their website got hacked or something or breached, I don't know, but it's this beautiful, beautiful brown color and I've been looking for a matte brown like that and it just, it goes on my lips and it makes my lips look so full. So I, oh, I'm totally loving this one, but yeah, I got this at Walgreens and they have a whole bunch of shades so I'm so excited to try the other shades so this was this is the shade eternal obsessed I then finally got the Milani um, T Rose blush and it's the flower blushes I've been dying for these they are so pretty and I've been wanting one um, they didn't have the deep it was like it's like a wineish color kind of they didn't have that color so I got the next best color the other one was a little bit too corally and bright for me um, so yeah that's that one and then um, I think I messed it up it's much too hard but yeah it's super um, pigmented I guess it's like buildable so yeah I'm excited about that I've only used it like once so we'll see how it works and then, I'm going to save the best for last because I'm so excited about it. Um, I went to Marshalls and, um, well, I went to Mar two different Marshalls. Um, and I already used this one, so I have like eyeshadow on it. But I picked up three um, e.l.f. brushes from their, I forget what, their studio line. And at Marshalls, they're $2.69. So you save like 30 cents so I mean it's not a big deal if you're not you know you count every penny or whatever but I mean hey it's 30 cents so you can get them at Target or you can get them at Marshalls so yeah I got a angled blush brush and I use this today and I kind of like it I feel like I can use it for contouring more than I could use it for blush but it's very good to get that precise or where you want to apply the brush precise blush precisely I got a eyeshadow C brush which is what I use to apply my eyeshadow on my lid today and then I got a contour brush, which I think this is like to do the very, um, what's it called? Precise contouring, but I think I'm going to use it to blend my eyeshadow, which I think would work great as well. So yeah, I'm excited about these brushes. 
So at Marshalls, you know how like that whole Kat Von D thing happened where every Marshalls, TJ Maxx and like those kind of stores had a whole bunch of like Kat Von D things and everyone was getting their li her liquid lips or whatever they're called. And so I was lucky enough to find a pack of liquid liners. It's her, um, I forget what they're called. Uh, liner tattoo liners and troopers so they're the, dar the darkest color in black and I got a pack of three for uh, $6.99 I gave one to my friend but I kept the one called Saint liner which is a very thin liner and I'm really 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 excited because I've always wanted to try them and um, I have heard so many great things about them so I got the really super thin one and I got one for a more bold liner but they're basically the same I feel like I'm just using up the thin one for now, and once I run out, I'll start using this one. I've been on the hunt for the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania, and I feel like it's been sold out everywhere. I got the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. I'm so excited because I've been wanting this color um, for a long time. Um, I only um, found like Copenhagen or Prague. Those are the only like, two colors that they had, the darkest ones. So this one is more of a deep purple plum color, while Copenhagen is more of a deep burgundy reddish color. So that's the deep purple um, Transylvania. I feel like it's coming off as a little bit red on camera, but it's definitely very plum. So super excited about that. Um, I ordered their... Just dropped everything. Right. Great. I ordered... What the heck? So I ordered... Again. I ordered the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. And I feel like it's a little bit too orange for my skin. It's really warm. And on that's the thing that sucks about buying makeup online is you can't really tell what your color is. And it's so freaking annoying because I hate it. But for now, I'm just going to use it. The next thing I got, I'm so excited about because I've been wanting to try cream contouring and I did it for the first time the other day and oh my god, I'm so obsessed. So I got the um, the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in the color Caramel and it's their darkest color and it doesn't look like it's the darkest color but when you build this up, especially on my skin, it looks super dark. It's a very warm, um, dark color or foundation color. I then got a concealer, um, a, it's in the shade CW12, it's a green concealer so I can correct my redness. And then they sent me this Nectar Lip Liner, um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to use it with. I think it's going to look really pretty with my Ravishing Lipstick by MAC because it's kind of like a peachy orangey color and I feel like it's going to look so beautiful with that. So I, I'm so excited about this, it's so nice of them to send like a gift with purchase. You know, oh wait! I totally forgot one. I went to Walgreens. Um, this one just totally slipped, and I got the um, the Rimmel London Show Off Show Off Lip Velvet in the color. I don't know. I took out the thing. Let me show you how beautiful and rich this color is. Oh my god! You need to get this if you love red lipsticks. You need, need, you need. And last but not least. For Valentine's Day this weekend, he got me the Lorac Pro Palette. So exciting, I know. I know I'm really late, but I've only ever heard great things about this. So obviously, I'm new to the game, but y'all know. I'm sure y'all watch all these videos. and um, It has a whole row of matte shades and a whole row of shimmer shades. And I love matte and I love shimmer. So I love to incorporate both of them. This is actually what I'm wearing on my eyeballs today. My eyelids. Let me focus on that. So yeah, like this is my makeup today. Hi. I'm using um, the color cream on my lid with champagne, and then I use taupe, um, sable, and espresso um, as my transition. I use taupe. Um, I use sable on my outer corner, and to um, deepen up and give more depth, I use espresso on my outer corner. Next. As well but yeah I'm super excited about this and I love that it has like all these fun colors and he's just oh, he's so amazing for getting me this and not only did he get me this one he got me a wild card because I didn't ask for this one but he was like oh uh, I want to get her another palette so he went to old Tony asked the girl or what I just showed you guys but yeah he got me the tartlet palette 
I'm so excited. But I'm just going to tell you the story now. This video is going to be like 800 minutes long, but I don't, I don't care. But yeah, so he was asking the girl at Ulta and he was like, oh, I want to get my girlfriend something else. Um, she, I know she wants the Lorac Pro palette, but I want to get her something else because I just don't want to get her that. And then the girl was like, oh, you should get her the Anastasia. And he's like, no, the Anastasia contour kit or whatever. And he's like, no, because she already got that shade in that palette. Like, he already knows. And so he, um, she said this one, like she recommended this one. And at first I was unsure if I wanted this one or not because it's matte and I have the Naked Basics palette. I have um, all the Naked palettes. Like, I don't know. I just felt like I had a lot that was similar. But... After trying it out, I fell in love. Oh my gosh, like this could repl easily repla repla replace a lot of my palettes because I have everything that I could need in one palette. Oh my gosh. And it's so cute. Like how, it's kind of dirty. My hands are so, oh shit. I think I got makeup on my shirt. But yeah, it's so freaking cute. And purple is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Oh, why does my nose keep doing that? Purple is one of my favorite colors, so I'm super, 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 super excited. I love the packaging. It's so cute. So you guys need this in your life. And now I'm going on to the clothing, which is going to be a lot of stuff. So hold on tight. So I went to Aldo, and I got these cute little shunnies. They're so cute. They kind of remind me of, like, they're so, like, Karen Walker-y to me, like, they remind me of Atlantic Pacific, like super, super fancy and oh, they're just so pretty. And I got this beautiful top. Oh, I'm really, I'm really excited about, oh, your girl's hair looking rough. I need to wash my hair, it's so dirty. But yeah, so I definitely am excited to style this shirt on a blog post or something. My next item is this Rebecca Minkoff clutch um, satchel thingy. I forgot the name of it. I think it's like a mini Mac something, but it's, um, I got this at my local retail store called, resale retail store called Decos, and I paid $29 for this. Can't wait to style it. I can go out with it. I can use it in my Logan backpack from Rick Minkoff that has, like, the silver hardware, so, hardware, so it matches it, and I'm just so excited because this is, like, the cutest thing ever. So I got this cute little acid wash crappy toppy. Um, I got it in a medium, because they didn't have any smalls, but I figured, um, I wanted it to be more of a um, regular size shirt, like oh, a little bit oversized. Yeah, so I got it in a medium and it's, I think it's super cute, like a very chill shirt that I can wear on days where I don't know what to wear and I can't wait to style this. Oh my god, how cute is this crop top? It's the floral crop top and it uh, zips up in the back. Oh, shop market, I love you. I literally spent 20 bucks on these three items. like. 70% off extra, extra 70% off extra, extra 70% off sale. Girl, I can't talk. But it's so cute. I tried it on and oh my god, I can't wait. I wish I had like an all white outfit. Wouldn't that be cute? I don't know, like white high waisted pants or something, or some denim or a little white skirt. I don't know. It's like super cute and I cannot wait to style it for the spring. The next two items are from ASOS. I didn't even open the, the black one, but. Um, these were on sale. You can tell I did a lot of shopping in the sale section. Why not? So I got these this cute um, plain crop top, and I got one in white and one in black for those days where I just want to be basic and I don't know what to wear. So I got this one in white, and these are from ASOS. I think I said ASOS. Some people say, A okay, the Persian babe says ASOS, and she's from that area, so... And she has a British accent, so if she says ASOS, I can say ASOS. But I think it's ASOS, but I don't know, who cares. So yeah, I got it in black too. So cute. My last two items are from Nasty Gal, and of course they were having a sale as well. And I got these beautiful, beautiful uh, sandal booty thingies, ankle wrap, I don't know what they're called. But they're from Shoe Colt, and they were on sale for like 20 bucks. And their sale was an extra 40% off. So I got these little babies and they are the sexiest booties ever. Cause this like wraps around your heel, like your ankle a little higher and they're super high. Like I didn't realize how high these were and my foot is literally like this. It kind of hurts. Like I already have like, my toes hurt, 
but I, I, I wore them twice, so I was able to break them in because it hasn't been that cold, so I kind of wore them already. But these are so cute. And my last item out of this gigantic haul is also from Nasty Gal, and I wish I would have gotten an extra, extra small or an extra small because this one's big. Look how big this is. But it's so big. But I feel like I can make it work. It's like an oversized little white dress. But the V is a little, I don't know. Online shopping stresses me out. This is why I probably have all these pimples. I'm just kidding. No, but I'm just so upset and disappointed that two of my dresses, I was mostly excited about the dresses. One is too small and one is too big. So, <laughs> so I think I can still make this work. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this long haul i hope it's not too long for you guys but i like watching hauls so i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to su su subscribe to my channel i'll have a link down below you can always just link subscribe i think it's like how are you gonna watch this somewhere up here is where you subscribe and i'm sweating because my ring light is hot as <gasps> so yeah so i will see you guys next time bye